Hey guys, so uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, deflection in a CRT TV. Okay, um, let's see if I can get my light working. Nope, okay, anyways. Um, so first I'm just going to be talking about the um, electrostatic deflection. This is sort of going to be a lead up to an experiment I'm going to do. The uh, first beam experiment that I'm going to do with... Um, my particle accelerators, the TVs. So anyway, we know that if we have an electron gun, say this is our gun, right? You know, we have our little filament here. Uh, we have some rings, you know. And then uh, these are, you know, the little accelerator rings. We have our high voltage and whatnot. I have another video on this, right? So um, now normally what you'd see is you'd have a big coil on the outside here, right? Something like this the deflection coil. But in this case, this is the way old old oscilloscopes, the uh, Crow oscilloscopes, this is the way they worked. They had little plates. They looked like that. And then they had also one for the, um, the X as well. So they had one for both, you know, X and Y deflection. Sorry, I'm writing from over here, so it's kind of difficult to get it right. But they had one set of coils like this for the X deflection, and another set like that for the Y deflection. Okay, so you can see in the tube here that uh, if you were looking straight down, it would look like that. So the way it works is that if you were to draw up close, if this is our, you know, the end of the gun, Here's one of the deflection plates, it doesn't matter. Um, what would happen is you would have one of these, you'd have a potential between them, right? So if this is the beam here, you know, represented by these dashes, there'd be a little, there'd be a potential between them. So if you put ground here, right, so this one was then tied to ground, and this one was tied to, you know, 100 volts. So assume this is just a black and white TV, so you only have one beam, right? Then, since electrons are attracted by positive, so they'd be attracted to the left side and repelled by the right side, so then they would curve to, the, to this side, right? Obviously not by that much, but you get the idea it'd be a curve. Say we reversed it, so instead you had ground here and 100 volts here. The line would then instead curve to the right. So that's the way it works. And um, the, uh, like the, the, um, the closer, the farther, I should say, if this is our screen here, right, so forget about this, we're, we're not using that. If this is our screen here and our first set of plates is here and the second set is here, the, the higher the voltage, the more it curves. So you would need a lower voltage on the first one because it has more room to curve. So this one, you know, the curve would have to do this, right? It would have to do that. The second one, the curve could do this. It could be a, a more gentle curve, right? So you would need less voltage to do that. So that's how the electrostatic deflection works, is that you have two plates. They usually look like that, right? And then you have the second set of plates here. It looks something like that because, you know, you're looking at an angle. And the electron beam passes through, and um, they put the positive, and whichever plate, which, whichever direction you want the electrons to go, you put the positive at that side. So if you wanted the electrons to curve to the left and up, you would put the positive on this left plate and on the up plate, so then you would end up getting a curve. Obviously, that curve would go, you know, right through the up one, and then it would start curving this way, and up. You can have, you know, three-dimensional curves. Anyway, that's how it works. You know, you have the two plates. So that's what I'm going to do is in my experiment, is if we have the gun here, right, you have the bulb here, and, you know, this gun is already assembled. This is where the um, coil used to go. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a plate. If this is the end of the gun here, I'm going to put a plate right there, and a plate right there, and I'm going to have about 500 volts here, 
and around here because this is really close to the bulb compared to they would normally be around here and uh, just you know I'll experiment with distance and everything but that's how the uh, electrostatic deflection works is that um, you know you have the gun and the plates and it uh, causes the electrons to curve because they're attracted to the positive side and repelled by the negative side so obviously it works in the three dimensions as well so if we were to flip you know the paper over you would see that as well but it, like if I was to put it in three dimensions anyway uh, that's how old oscilloscopes work and that's going to be my first experiment so uh, thanks for watching I hope you learned how the electrostatic deflection works bye